Hi everyone, Sol here. Today I am going to talk about the new treasure hunt event. This is uh, similar to an event that has happened a while ago and it looks like a half year anniversary uh, celebration. We had one two years ago when it was skipped last year and it looks like it's back this year. On top of the treasure hunt, there are also some login gifts and everything on that list is free, provided that you log in every day for the next 10 days. But uh, still, the main part is this uh, treasure hunt and to access the treasure hunt we need adventure manuals that are obtained via missions. There are nine missions that should uh, reset uh, every day for seven days in total. Now it is a little bit uh, difficult to ascertain the full rules because they are about obtaining gingerbread men and uh, Christmas gifts, but uh, let's try to figure this out as best as we can. I have already completed eight missions out of nine. Unfortunately, I cannot complete the ninth one uh, before spending 50,000 uh, energy on this last uh, on this account. So I will just uh, skip that and collect the manuals now. After obtaining the adventuring manuals, we can enter the treasure hunt. And we can see a grid of 35 square tiles with some treasures hidden behind them. There are three types of treasures. The one that uh, take an area of 2 by 2 they are worth 15 shadowy diamonds each. The ones that take area of 1 by 2 they give us 25 shadowy diamonds each and then there are items of size 1 by 1 and they give us 50 shadowy diamonds per try. Now the treasures are randomly generated and uh, hidden behind these tiles so we are not certain how many uh, shadowy diamonds are obtained uh, in each try. This will be at least 60 and at most uh, 90 but uh, this can differ depending on your luck. Now there are 15 treasure digging attempts available for free. Each uh, further attempt has to be uh, paid for one diamond per one attempt. And uh, digging is not guaranteed to remove a square tile. It's possible that uh, it only removes uh, the front layer. So that we can see what is behind, but it's not completely removed. And if we can see a treasure, we click it again and otherwise we leave it be. So let's try doing that. We can see that the style was removed partially. I need to click once again to reveal the artifact. And it is uh, two by one actually, so I need to remove another tile and the treasure lands here. Now I search for another one and now I can see a 2x2 two two one. Those two tiles are still partially covered. Um, I search for more. Nothing here. I 
I need more attempts. Okay, there is something. And we can see the final score. Two artifacts of size 1x2 or 2x1, each for 25, and one 2x2 for 15. The total is uh, 65. Let's do that again. One two by two. I need more attempts now. There might be some elusive one by one treasure here that's difficult to find. Yeah, precisely. So one one by one worth fifty and one two by two worth fifteen. Let's have one more look. One one by two. Second one. And the third one. And so uh, that's it. I am now out of adventure manuals. And I gathered 1140 shadowy diamonds after 16 tries. That's slightly more than 70 shadowy diamonds per try, so we will go with that for further calculations, but remember that it can be less or more depending on your luck. For the free-to-play calculation, we have uh, seven days of the event with 18 adventure manuals, each day and each attempt giving us about 70 uh, shadowy diamonds that is a total of 8820 shadowy diamonds on top of that we can get 100 shadowy diamonds daily for only one diamond so almost uh, free that brings us to a total of 9520 shadowy diamonds plus up to 10 packs of 400 can be purchased for 300 diamonds each so the maximum that a free to play player can get is 13000 520 shadowy diamonds more or less this brings us to the mysterious treasure trove where all the items you can get for shadowy diamonds are located including once again the highlight the cornucopia component chest which is important if you want to 
obtain a steady income of star soul stones for second awakenings still this is a pretty pricey thing to obtain and you need to spend diamonds on shadowy diamonds in order to uh, be able to get it as uh, free to play other than that the exchange rate on void mithril is extremely good and uh, also orange holy emblems are a good choice if you want to obtain the uh, path of the assassin emblem there is also a very good exchange rate on the glittering pearls here in uh, comparison with ever uh, standard price now other items it's uh, it is really up to you on uh, what you actually prefer uh, the premium artifact is good the commander unit tokens are actually a trap with a very bad exchange rate in terms of diamond value the same goes for tactics uh, manuals and uh, casting crystals and uh, universal hero tokens can usually be gained just by uh, playing the game uh, over uh, the course of a week so um, there's no real need to get them here uh, orange uh, artifact is also uh, pretty good with the exchange rate offered here and uh, the dragon blood uh, and um, quiet pearls are quite uh, acceptable the same goes for the star soul stones now there is also a random universal machine component chest that's uh, for uh, war machines but in the end they have fallen from grace over the time so at the beginning they seemed great but uh, now they are not all that important so purple components are uh, just fine There are some more options for spenders and uh, here I like to compare the money offers to the monthly VIP cards. Those offer you basically 600 uh, diamonds per uh, 1 euro spent and uh, I relate all the possible purchases to that uh, amount and uh, the first offer you can see here are the shadowy diamond offers uh, there is uh, first a one euro pack and uh, then there are four larger packs and even in comparison with some other events the rate here is pretty abysmal so uh, the one euro pack is uh, only slightly more than 190 diamonds per euro and of the other packs it's less than 150 diamonds per euro if you consider the price of uh, shadowy diamonds given here so <laughs> it's uh, uh, it's bad and uh, i think it's uh, even worse than uh, standard uh, top up purchase. Then uh, there are some other packs that uh, appear, some of them have already uh, appeared in uh, previous events. A new addition is the Holiday Cornucopia special offer with uh, Cornucopia piece only for uh, 90 euros, only 20 euros less than uh, normal then uh, commander unit tokens ssr selection 
this is our special um, elite hero um, premium artifact elite unit holy emblem um, standard orange artifact universal hero tokens mithril and um, abyss trial ticket now if you still need some elite units or first generation premium hero then those two packs are probably your best bet unless you want to obtain the hero via lucky snatch and uh, wait for your chance with uh, random sr plus unit pools other than that, uh, the orange artifact offer is uh, fairly good with uh, 540 diamonds per euro if you still need orange artifacts at this point because uh, most of them um, are not uh, all that important now, although that's uh, always additional stats and so on. And then uh, the Void Mithril offer is uh, about 390 diamonds uh, per euro spent. Then Holy Emblem is 300. And that's about it. Uh, other than that, we get to low rates uh, comparable to the Shadowy Diamond offers. Some are in the 200 uh, to 225 range, but this is nothing to particularly brag about. Then there are some customizable packs, and uh, two of them are actually pretty great. So the first one, Half Year Custom Gift Box, gives us five gold keys. Our selection of 100 uh, Star Soul Stones, 2 Abyss Trial Entry Tickets or 1 Premium Artifact Component Chest and a choice of 1 Epic Artifact Component Chest, 500 Heaven Cast Stones or 10 Ancient Temple Scrolls. Now, Gold Keys are worth up to 1350 Diamonds. First item here, if you pick Star Soul Stones, that's uh, 2500 diamonds. Abyss Trial Entry Tickets, that's 3000. Premium Artifact, it's 1500. Uh, maybe uh, a little more since it uh, includes Bard Component Chest and Ocean Component Chest. And uh, here. It's more or less 400 uh, diamonds for either item. So you get uh, something worth around uh, 4,250 diamonds uh, for a price of 2,000. That's a pretty good deal, but uh, it also depends on whether you actually still need the gold keys and which item you choose here. The second deal is plain awesome. Well, the amount of diamonds is not much, but we have a cornucopia component chest available here. And this simply outclasses the quiet pearls uh, and blood crystals by a huge margin. Then we can pick some gold keys, astro silvers, or prayer stones. Astro silvers are probably a winner here. And then either uh, cast stones, soul stones, or casting crystals. Now the cast stones are worth uh, about uh, 350. To 500 diamonds, soul stones, uh, 400 diamonds, casting crystal, uh, 200 
by the auction price. So either one of the uh, first two items seems uh, good here. And if we pick the cornucopia component chest for just 11 euros, then the value of this pack is uh, about 1000 diamonds per euro. So uh, it's, uh, it's really great. That uh, can't be said about the other three packs. So each one of them contains some diamonds. Um, and then in the first one, there are Holy Emblem Redemption tickets, Universal Hero tokens, Premium artifacts, Champion unit tokens. These are a trap. Uh, the best value here are the Quiet Pearls. Uh, that's uh, 1200 diamonds for 10 Quiet Pearls, 800 for 20 Glittering Pearls, and uh, 900 uh, diamonds for 5 uh, Champion Tokens. The items here in the first selection and you probably want the Holy Emblem Redemption tickets for around uh, 3,000 diamonds or maybe premium artifact. Uh, in the end, uh, this pack is worth about uh, 260 diamonds per euro spent. Again, nothing to brag about. The other two are uh, slightly better. Uh, in this pack, uh, you can get an Elite Unit or Holy Emblems. Two holy emblems, so that's around uh, 4,000 diamonds for either of these items. Then champion unit tokens, again a trap because the best option here is Void Mithril, uh, plain and simple, 3,500 uh, diamonds in comparison with uh, 1,800 for quiet pearls and uh, less than 1,600 for champion unit tokens applied to these three spots. And in the last case, it's um, 7,000 value for premium artifact component chest if you want to get uh, Armageddon's Blade or uh, Piece of Eden. 5,000 if you want Angelic Alliance or Dragon Faber Artifact, 9,000 or so for Konukopia and uh, Envoy Component, just uh, I have no words on this one. Uh, and for the other three choices, it's once again very simple Void Mithril, well, roughly 7,500 diamonds of value in comparison with uh, 3600 for SSR unit token selection or uh, less than 3000 for champion unit token. In the end, the values for the last two packs are respectively 320 and 345 diamonds per euro spent, so technically much better than most of, these, uh, most of the offers in this event but still worse than a monthly VIP pack. So uh, that's uh, your decision to make and it depends on how much you're actually spending on this game. This is all for the treasure hunt event. So have fun and stay safe.